Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. If there's one fish in Canada that symbolizes the true north, it has to be the speckled trout. Called brookie or square tail by some, they rival the northern lights when it comes to an unforgettable display. Gaudy and colorful beyond description, they're far and away the most beautiful fish in the swim, a fact they seem to be competitively aware of. Catching these living jewels is usually a matter of feast or famine. At times suicidal in nature, they quickly transform into the most stubborn fish imaginable. During those tough days, having the right bait can make a world of difference. Following a centuries-old tradition, fly fishing remains one of the best ways to catch these special fish. Packing a multitude of flies and constantly making changes is the reason. The same applies to soft baits and other artificials. Carry as many different things as possible, then make changes until you connect. One thing we've learned in underwater filming is that few brookies can resist something that's dragging on bottom. Even the most reluctant specimen will go crazy for a bait that suddenly bottoms out. Simply put, find out what they want, present it in a way they like to see it, and you'll enjoy a close encounter with this treasure of the North. For many anglers, brook trout fishing means ice fishing. Post-spawn and hungry, it's during this season that some of the largest fish of the year are taken. For sheer numbers of brookies, you just can't beat April and May. Rising water temperatures and increased forage activity have the square tails hitting everything with reckless abandon. Depending on location, overall coloration can range from silver gray to strikingly bright. Even so, all these variables are nothing compared to the same fish in full spawning regalia. At the very end of the season, September in most locations, you can witness this gaudy display. That is, if the fish cooperate, late season brookies can be one of the most frustrating fish in the swim. Finding them is the easy part. In lakes, check out feeder streams or gravel shoals. River trout will move upstream to hold in large pools. Concentrations of tight-lipped fish are the norm. No longer interested in eating, they act like spawning Pacific salmon and must be aggravated into hitting. Spinners are good for the purpose, but expect a lot of follows and near misses. In soft baits, keep changing products and experiment with action. The point is, stay on them until you arrive at something they find irritating. In the end, your prize will be a magnificent living treasure. Though rarely inhabiting the same lake, smallmouth bass and brook trout are often found side by side in similar waters. Our two favorite locations are Beauchain in Quebec and the Halliburton region in Ontario. As anywhere, remote and inaccessible lakes support the healthiest fish populations. At Beauchain, catch and release maintains peak levels. For us, it's a unique learning experience, as well as a chance to experiment with different lures and techniques. One thing we've noticed is that for two entirely different fish, there are distinct similarities. Baits and presentations that take smallmouth work equally well on brook trout. And that includes a few things that even surprised us. We found this to be true nearly everywhere. Brook trout really go for a big mouthful. For an exceptional experience with these top-end game fish, why not consider fly fishing? Here again, the very same flies designed for smallmouth will interest brook trout. Even with little or no skill, a proper selection of flies will put you in business. Fly fishing is, in fact, a deadly finesse technique. Just get it out there, add a few tugs and jerks, and be ready for serious action.